the other day, the neighbor calls. She lives next or across the road in a house down or so. She goes, did you hear those coyotes? They sounded like they were in your front yard. Are your dogs okay? It sounded like they got something. As she's saying that, I come up the hill here and I yell over the gate or over the fence, goats, goats, and uh, stayed here for about a minute or two. And they never came. So I walk back down to the house and I say to my wife, I go, I think the goats got, or the coyotes got the goats. And uh, she gets all excited, puts her shoes on and comes up here and yells goats and here come the goats. Uh, they like to listen to her, but not to me. <laughs> anyway, kind of got me fired up a little bit and uh, just, you know, I need to be a good homesteader and a good animal husbandry. So I decided to bring the goats into the bubble. I think I thought about turning the shed because that way you could look and be like, oh, is it open? Is it closed? This makes sense to open that way because the road is here. To pull in would be easier, yeah. That is really the only way that that can go. Uh, yeah, this just seems to work. Yeah. Makes sense? Yeah. Like it? Yep. Uh, let me explain this a little bit further too. That over there is my neighbor's property. I live in the country and I have a neighbor that I can throw a rock at. Luckily, we are very friendly. Um, they're very friendly. Um, we uh, care for each other. Uh, we take care of their place when they go places. They take care of our place. We're always keeping an eye on things. Uh, we give them food, more like vegetables, and they give us Mexican food, the best I've ever had. One of the things about my property here is it's kind of cut up. Uh, there's areas that we don't want goats getting into because we have flowers and things that we just don't want the goats eating. Uh, so what I do is I put the goats in different sections with um, electric netting. And then once they kind of finish the job around here, I ended up just throwing them over the fence because the neighbors have this, it's probably about three, three, four acres. It's just getting kind of a little brushy and needed some help. They're happy, we're happy, and it works out for goats too. They're definitely eating enough. The, the coyotes could come in from two directions here. They have a fenced in area around the house to keep the deer out and their dogs in. We have a fenced in area to keep the deer out and the dogs in. I wanted to bring the goats into the bubble. anything does come in from this one section hopefully the barking and mayhem of dogs will keep any predators away. One of the principles we have around the homestead here is the most efficient, cost-effective, and strongest way to do things. I made it 16 by 22 foot is the dimensions. The reason I went with that is these hog wire panels that I used are uh, 16 foot long, four foot high, four by four squares. That way I didn't have to add any panels or cut too much of panels. We live on a hill. The base of the post was 16 foot, but the top kind of grew a little bit. 
So I didn't have to add, but I had to cut, which is all right with me. Uh, the 22 foot section here is because this six foot fence. Uh, I went with uh, six foot fences. That way, if I ever get a quad or something like that, I can drive it through and get over there easily. Another thing that I was doing is I originally went on like tractor supply and looked at a, a gate there and uh, they wanted a, about 120 bucks for a new one new gate. Uh, so we went on Facebook marketplace, looked up gates, found two gates for 120 bucks, offered her a hundred. We got two gates. She got a hundred bucks. She was happy. I'm happy. Another thing that we did a little, that I did a little bit different, the wife has a client that she's working for now that's really interested in uh, rammed earth. And so we had been doing some research on that. And uh, basically, I'll put a link down below uh, to a video to kind of explain it. But basically what it is, you take native soil and cement and some other things and uh, moisten it and tamp it in to forms and you can make walls and really neat kind of interesting things with it. I had an idea. I said I had some cement down here. I threw some, dug out the holes and then added some cement to that, mixed it up, moistened it up, and then put it back in and tamped it. Um, and basically all the dirt that came out went back in. So it definitely did some something. We'll see how it goes over time. I'm gonna put the date on one of these posts and then in five years come back and uh, do a recap and see how it's holding up. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. So in five years, you can see what's going on. <laughs> um, another thing that I did that was uh, just to make things easier and stuff was I used horseshoe nails, but they're screws. So basically it's a quarter inch drive screw with a horseshoe thing on there. And the nice part is with these hog wire panels, I could take them off, move them if I need to. If I want to expand this, it's easy. On the neighbor's fence there, they have an existing telephone pole. He works for the telephone company, so he gets old poles. What I did was I just added a four x four with some ledger lock screws and uh, added my gate onto that. Worked out pretty nice. On the field fence there, I did do an H post. I'm definitely not a fencer, but um, I wanted to try and make it as strong as I could. didn't add H posts to the hog wire panel fence and because I'm not really stretching fence so it's not too much tension other than what the goats are going to put on it by leaning up against it but uh, if I had to I could take it apart with the screws and put in a po H post and make things better later on in the in between the panels I threw a T post another thing that I want to do is right now this is just their temporary pin or a little structure. I have an old metal shed that I want to throw in here, put some plywood on the inside so they don't lean up against it and ruin it. Just uh, trying to be better at homesteading. So that's all I got to say about that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. I'm the same amount with blue and purple. Pink. Not really with yellow and all kinds of yellow. What's mine? Green. Green? Green and blue for daddy. Oh. Uh, mostly green. They just think I like blue because I always wear the pants. <laughs> <laughs>